Brakatea Hoa, Brakatea Hoa Shai, Brakatea Hoa, Brakatea Hoa Shai, Brakatea Hoa, Brakatea Hoa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thamashanaka Bailaz, the Kormishar Shirali, get double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labak, Yarshar, Yashirali, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Baha'u Chachodash, Amaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And uh, the topic of this lesson is just going in on um, more preparation for the return of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord, our Savior, our King. He is on his way and he is coming quickly. He is coming speedily. He's shortening the times for his elect sake, for his chosen. And what is his chosen? What is elect, his elect going to be doing? Preparing for his return. His chosen, his elect, they're going to occupy until the Lord comes. His chosen, his elect, all right? They're going to keep on pushing and give the Lord no rest until he establish and make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. So this is how we are supposed to be moving. As it says in the book of Colossians, put on as the elect. It's written what the elect is going to be doing in the last days. They're going to be serving Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. They're going to have faith, okay? Or they're going to they're gonna have faith and they're going to show their faith by serving Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. They're going to uh, uh, have faith and show their faith by, by doing the works and participating in the ministry and doing anything that they can to benefit this work and doing the best that they can to uh, 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 um, to comply and to submit on uh, on what is written in the scriptures. This is what the elect is, it, it would be doing, was written to be doing. So this is what we need to be uh, doing, giving diligence to make our calling and election sure. That's in the book of... Um, Second Peter is the first chapter. In Timothy, it says, Study to show yourself approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, ashamed to. So continue to labor so we can enter that rest. Continue to push push uh, 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 the vibration of Yahweh Barasham, Yahweh Shai, so that, so that we can be saved, so that we can be shown mercy. And not only just doing lessons and not only just going out there on the highways and byways, but also continue to work on ourselves. The Lord Yahweh Shai, he's known as the bridegroom. Us being his bride. We have to put we we have to get a uh, uh, presentable to him, all right? Because we want him to choose us. We want to be the chosen. So when he comes, we want to have them beautiful garments on, all right? We want to have them uh 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 all our right, lamps trimmed. Let's start off with this scripture in the book of Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty four, and verse uh slack it Isaiah fifty two and verse one. It says, "Awake, awake." Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. We've been called. We've been invited to a marriage, man. We've been uh, invited to a marriage. So knowing that, let's prepare for it properly. All right. Let's clean off the dirt that's off of us. Shake ourselves from the dust as it's going to go into. All right. Clean ourselves. It says, uh, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy, holy city. For henceforth, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down. Shake thyself from the dust, meaning clean yourself from the confusion. Clean yourself from the, from the filth of this world, man. And that's a constant process, all right? It's like you shower daily, you brush your teeth daily, you, you, you got to wash your teeth, wash your mouth daily. You got to wash under your damn arms daily. Well, how much more spiritually living in this filthy-ass world? Man, we have to constantly wash ourselves. And how do we wash ourselves? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse... Psalms chapter 119 and verse 9, it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereunto, so like by taking heed thereto according to thy word. So we are cleansed through the word. St. John 15 and 3, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. St. John 17 and 17, they are cleansed through the word. Roughly paraphrasing these scriptures, man. Just more precepts to back up, back up that point. We have to stay in our scriptures. Stay in the spirit. What is the spirit? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Stay in the spirit so that we don't fulfill the deeds of the flesh. All right? Continue to watch. Continue to pray. This is how we prepare for the return of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So let's go back into, I don't know why I dropped it, um, the Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 2. It says, shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck. And how are we loose from the bands of our neck? The shackles that's been put on our minds is what? Through the anointing, man. This is the book of, my nose fucking itchy. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 10. In verse 27, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The yoke, 
all right? That mental bondage, that spiritual bondage that, that, that was placed upon us through our, uh, uh, um, uh, our oppressors, all right? It's being broken through the anointing. The anointing is what? The teaching of this, the, of this truth, man, all right? This oil right here, this knowledge and wisdom and understanding, this is the anointing. Through thy truth, as the Lord said in the book of John 8, says, thy tr uh, my truth has made thee free. Roughly paraphrasing, all right? So we have to stay in this truth, which is our shield and our buckler. So let's go from there to the book of Matthew. Matthew 24 and verse 42. It says, watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord do have come. We have to stay on our watch. We have to stay ready because we don't know the exact a uh, 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 month, day, and hour, all the way down to the second that he's coming. So we always have to be on our watch. We always have to be on our square. It says, as the scriptures say, be uh, uh, be circumspect. Circumspect means to look around. In short, it means to be on your watch, redeeming the times because the days are evil. It says, uh, but know this, that if the good man of his house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. So if you're not watching, your house is going to be broken up. All right. In the book of Sirach, it says, lest a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his household shall soon be overthrown. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Shall soon suddenly in your in your comfort, in your um, in your uh, security. All right. Shall the wrath of the Lord come upon you. So we have to constantly work on ourselves. Okay. It's not just it, the, the lessons is beautiful. Going down the highways and byways is beautiful. But also, what, what, even more than that, taking heed unto ourselves. Examining ourselves that we be in the faith. Examining ourselves and, and, and really scrutinizing ourselves and, and looking introspect to see if we're, uh, 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 if we're doing everything that we can to, to obtain a spot on the Lord's chariots. All right? To be saved. To enter into them chambers with the bridegroom. It says... Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh, be ready. Stay on your watch. Continue to do the things that we were commanded to do, so that when he, so that when the Lord returns, he'll be well pleased with us, my good and faithful servant. And he'll allow us to receive that great uh, 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 mercy that he has stored up for his elect. It says, who then, who then is a faithful and wise servant? Whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Blessed is that servant. And this servant will be counted faithful and this servant will be counted wise. Hey, faith is what Yahweh is coming to look for. Luke the 18 chapter, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall we find faith on the earth. And he will speedily avenge his elect. The Lord is coming fast. He's coming speedily to avenge his elect, his chosen, and his chosen is going to have faith in his faith. And uh, their faith is going to be tried. King David said, I believe, therefore I have I spoken and was greatly afflicted. Why was he afflicted? Because my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. Our faith is going to be tried. All right. But if we be faithful unto death, we'll receive that crown of life. Okay. It says, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find, him, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. All right. That's the reward at the end of this thing. Keeping that on the forefront of our mind. Keeping our eyes single on the kingdom. Keeping our eyes single on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai pleasing Him so that we can obtain salvation. The reward that comes with this is beyond anything that we can fathom or imagine. In the book of Hebrews, the 10th chapter, it says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Our confidence, the word confidence, is synonymous with faith. So we cannot cast away our faith because the reward, the, the, the reward at the end of this is great. Matter of fact, we're going to start being rewarded before, the, the, before uh, America is, is destroyed, man. All right? We're going to be getting rewarded on this side. Okay? Let's get a precept to back that up. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12. Mm. Shit, where's it at? Is it Luke 21? Uh, shit, let me look it up real fast. Baba Kusha. And in the world to come, on this side, in the world to come. I believe that's how it's um, quoted. Baba Kusha, bear with me. Kindness is... Uh, 
Right. This is Luke chapter 18 and verse... Luke chapter 18 and verse 29. It says, And he said unto them, Verily, I'll start at verse 28. It says, Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And he's, in, uh, again, another characteristic of the elect. Forsake everything and anything when it comes to this ministry. If anything is getting in the way of this ministry, we forsake it. All right? We put it, we put it, everything is second. It comes after this truth. comes after serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. If anything tries to interfere with that, we cut it out. All right? That's the character. This is the that's the characteristic of the top apostle, the top disciple. So that have to be, and we have to follow after that same example. It says, then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that have left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of Yahweh's sake, who shall not receive many fold more in this present time and in the world to come, life everlasting. So even on this side, the Lord is going to uh, uh, show that there is nothing sweeter than serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? Then fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he's going to show that surely there is a reward for the righteous, man. As it says in the book of Psalms. So let's go back into the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 47. It says, Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. All right? The whole earth is going to be ours and everything that's in it. The meek shall inherit the earth. Ask of me and I will give thee the heathen for thy inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. This is what's going to be given on to us. But we first have to prove ourselves. And the book of Soraka says, my son, if thou get a friend, prove him first. Roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord is proving us. Just like he proved his friend Abraham. How did he pr prove his friend Abraham? All right. He proved him uh, 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 by putting him in a situation where Abraham will have to show that he trusts in the Lord. That where Abraham will have to show that he has faith and believe that the Lord can do anything. Abraham was about to kill his own, uh, uh, his, the the um, the son of the promise, Isaac. He was about to kill him, right? To show his love, to show his faith and allegiance to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And as soon as he was about to bring that axe down on his neck, the, the Lord sent the angel to stop Abraham. And after that happened, the Lord said to Abraham, he said, surely I know that you fearest me, man. All right. So we're going to be, we're going to be brought to that, to that, to that point, man. So that, cause that's how the Lord is going to prove us. Gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men is in the furnace of adversity. Another word for tried is proved. Gold is tried in the fire. Gold is proved in the fire. Just like an acceptable man in, uh, in the furnace of adversity. So we're going to be proved in the fire. We're going to be proved in adversity. Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. The Lord receive us as a burnt offering. It says in the book of Isaiah 48 that he has chosen us in the, uh, in the furnace of affliction. All right. So he's going to prove us by, uh, by, uh, by taking us through these different things. But if we have faith in him, if we trust in him. If we abide in this fear, if we uh, uh, call upon his name, he will not despise us. He will not uh, forsake us and we will not be confounded. Okay, so um, I'm going to jump down to Matthew chapter 25 and verse 1. It says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. The bridegroom being Yahweh Shai, the ten virgins is speaking of, uh, of Israel, man. All right. You got some wise ones, you got fool and you got some foolish ones. You got the elect, you got the two thirds. All right. The ones that have their eyes open and the ones that's blinded. It says, uh, and five of them were wise and five were foolish. They it's like they that were foolish took their lamps and took not took no oil with them. Right? They they didn't have the anointing. All right? They didn't get the anointing. They don't have the oil. It says, but the wise took oil. The the wise got that anointing. We have an unctioning from the Holy One. Therefore, we know all things. You go into that word unction. It means uh, uh, anointing. Anointing with oil. Okay? Uh, uh, and the oil is this wisdom. The oil is the uh, uh, the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of these scriptures. It says, While the bridegroom tarried, they all aslock you. But the, but the verse 4, it says, But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. And, and this is what we're saying. This is what we heard on the highways and byways. Isaiah 58, 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet. We heard the prophets out there crying aloud, saying what? That the bridegroom is on his way. Yahweh Shai is about to make his return. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, therefore repent. Unless ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. It says, uh, uh, it says, 
the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. This is what we to, this is the on the forefront of our minds. This is what our life uh, 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 and our thoughts should be centered around meeting the bridegroom. Okay, meeting Yahweh Shai, and when Yahweh Shai comes, jump up back to the twenty fourth chapter. We want him to be pleased with us. All right, we want him to ple be pleased. With, uh, uh, with our spirit, want him to be pleased with what we have done uh, 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 after we heard this truth, after we receive this uh, uh, this precious wisdom, man, so that we can be counted worthy in his eyes, so that he can make us ruler over all his goods. Again, this is the main focus. We have been invited to a wedding. Let's get ready for it. Let's prepare for it. It says, and at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And when you go to that word trimmed, it's the Greek word cosmeo. All right, where well, you get the word cosmetics from. All right, cosmetics, where uh, 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 girls get these different shit to paint their face, to, to, to make up their image, right? To, to, they're getting ready for a wedding or they're getting ready for, for a party or a dinner. What, what, are you, what, are, uh, a woman, what is a woman doing, right? Taking hours to get ready. All right, hours to get ready, making sure her hair is right, making sure her makeup is on point, right? Hopped in the tub, making sure she's smelling right. Well, this is what we are to be doing uh, uh, also, man. The bridegroom is on his way. We have to trim our lamps. We have to prepare ourselves, make, our, uh, uh, make sure that we're ready and presentable when he makes his return. We read that Isaiah putting on our, our, our garments, shaking ourselves from the dust, cleaning ourselves off, being in this word. In the book of Esther, it talks about how um, uh, the women that was going to be presented unto the king, they bathed in oils for a year. So this is what we, we should be bathing in this oil, okay? Putting on our beautiful garments. Also this word, man. So that when the Lord comes, he'll be pleased with us. And he'll accept us. It says, um, and the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and for you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they, were, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut, the ones that was ready. All right? And why was they ready? Because their main focus was meeting the bridegroom. The, the other version, they, they their their mind was somewhere else, okay? But our main focus has to be uh, 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 being ready so when the Lord comes, we can leave with him. Let's continue on. It says, um, and they that were ready went in with him to the, cha to, to the marriage and the door was shut. Afterward came also other the, uh, the other version saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, verily I say unto you, I know you not. This is what we're trying to avoid, all right? We don't want to call upon the Lord's name and he rejects us and say that he don't know us. We want him to look at us and again say, well done, my good and faithful servant. All right. We have to be ready so when he comes, we can enter into the marriage chamber with him. Because if you don't get on that marriage chamber, you're going to perish here in America. You're going to be destroyed. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 26 and verse 20, it says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. That's the marriage chambers. Who's going to go into them chambers? His people, the ones that are ready, the ones that's watching and praying, the ones that's staying in the spirit. It says, And shut the and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And that indignation, thereafter, after Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is fire and brimstone via intercontinental ballistic missiles. So the elect, the wise versions, the ones that are ready, when Yahweh Shai comes, they're going to go into the, mar the marriage chambers. And they're going to be hidden from the destruction. Only with our eyes, Lord willing, I'm part of that number. Only with our eyes shall we behold the reward of the wicked. The marriage chamber, second edge, uh, so like in Revelations, the 15th chapter, the, as John said, I stood upon the sea of glass, uh, 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 which was mingled with fire, and saw them that uh, worship not the beast in his image and receive not of his mark. And, and receive palms in their hands that got in the victory over this uh, over the temptation, over the hour of temptation, man. Okay? So that's pretty much, uh, I'll read one more on Matthew 25, and verse 13. It says, Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Stay on our watch. Continue to prepare for the uh, uh, for the bridegroom. Continue to prepare for your house, Shai Mashiach. Let's read another one in the book of Luke chapter 21, and I'll get straight to the point. Luke 21 and verse 34 it says, And take heed to yourself. Take heed to ourselves. So thinking of it in a carnal aspect, you getting for you getting ready for a wedding. And before you leave, what are you what are you doing? You're looking in the mirror, 
making sure your hair is right, making sure you ain't got nothing in your teeth, making sure you ain't got no stains on your suit, man, making sure everything is uh, 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 is in order. And so spiritually, we're to be doing the same thing, looking in the mirror, looking at ourselves and seeing what can we fix, all right, seeing what's out of place and trying to straighten it out. So again, so that we're ready when the Lord comes. It says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and that they come upon you unaware. So th this is this is not a physical examination. This is a, 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 a internal I I examination, the examination of our spirit, and making sure that we're not getting caught up in the flesh and falling victim to uh, 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 to carnal thoughts. It says, verse thirty-five: For as a snare shall it come upon all them. That dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always. So this is this is uh, how we escape uh, 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 the cares of this world. By staying on our watch. Constantly praying. That's going to strengthen us spiritually. And those are things that are pleasing to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's that's the end goal. All right. The end goal is to stand before Yahweh Shai Mashiach and get a crown placed upon our head. The end goal is salvation. Okay? So that uh, daily it says, Until I come, give attendance to reading, doctrine, exhortation. If you do these things, take heed unto yourself. And unto the doctrine, if you do these things, you shall both save yourself and them that hear thee. So every day, what can, what can I do to better my chances of being saved? Neglect not the gift that has been given unto you. Okay? It says, a man's gift maketh room for him. So continue to build upon it. By what? Watching. Staying in the scriptures. Constantly uh, 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 reading. Watching the apostles. Looking at uh, uh, news articles and, and, and lining it up with the scriptures, which is measuring the times diligently, also falls in the category of watch. Watching yourself, all right? Making sure you're not getting too carnal. Making sure you're not getting out of pocket or, or going astray from what's written, okay? And constantly praying. This is how we prepare for the, for the return of the Lord. And don't get caught up in, in what's coming because a, a, a lot is coming down the road, right around the corner. But if we're if our main focus is in the Lord, He gonna take every uh, take care of everything. It says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things shall be added unto you." So, having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Kakodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, in mighty name of the heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, in mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Kakodash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. That the Mashanaka Ba'alaz will come Yisrael Shiralek, that the honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well. And Shalom Mahabla Bakiar Shayashra, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Mahakim brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay, stay vigilant, all right? Uh, uh, um, stay prayed up, stay on your watch, stay faithful, because salvation draweth nine redemptions nearer than we believe. Yahweh Shai is on his way back. Shalom.